New on the night team, a proposed multi-million dollar casino in New Bedford could become a reality. But residents there have a lot of questions for the people in charge. The night team's Olivia Fecto is live in New Bedford tonight. Olivia? Frank and Patrice, tonight's meeting was just the first of three community forums to talk about the proposed casino at the New Bedford waterfront ahead of a referendum vote later this month. A 300-room hotel, a 25,000-square-foot conference center, restaurants, and stores. That's the proposal for a waterfront casino in New Bedford, one that developers and city leaders say could bring thousands of jobs to the city. Thursday evening, developers in the city held a forum at Roosevelt Middle School for residents to talk about their plans and answer questions. Only a couple dozen people attended the meeting, but with lots of questions about how it would affect traffic, environmental contamination, and what the site would actually look like if it happens. Developers say according to the host community agreement with the city, this plan could create nearly 4,000 permanent jobs and more than 2,000 construction jobs. The goal, fill about 20% of those with New Bedford residents. Each year, the city would receive payments of $12.5 million on top of the city's tax base, which is about $100 million. But the developers say voting yes on the June 23rd referendum does not mean the casino will actually be built. They say all it means is that the community will continue to have these conversations about it in the future. There will be two more community forums held on this issue over the next couple of weeks. Before that referendum on the 23rd, they're encouraging people to come out and ask any questions they might have. Live in New Bedford tonight, Olivia Fecto, NBC10 News Night Team.